Well, good day all you YouTubers. Now, what I thought I'd do today would be to try and give you some um, indication on how I produce my videos for YouTube. I don't do a lot of videoing. I'm much more into radio and podcasting. But a number of people have asked me, how is it I get my sound record, my sound so good and the video looking like it does? So I'm going to show you around my office in a minute and I'm going to show you and explain to you my setup. I don't have a lot of equipment, but I have gone through a lot of equipment over the years. So, you know, if you were to buy the setup that I've got, um, you know, you, you could sound, your videos could sound like this. Now, I have learned so much from you guys over the years on YouTube um, about podcasting, about videoing, and about ra making radio shows and all that. But one of the things that really sometimes... Um, is difficult to cope with is either bad video or bad sound and if there's anything that I would beg you to do is to try and improve the sound of some of the videos because they are not wonderful so before I send this one out I will check the sound see that it's okay so now then um, in years gone by for the picture quality I would have had to use one of these this is a Panasonic Full HD kind of mini flip-out camera. Great bit of kit. Would never have dreamt of using a webcam. Why? Dead easy answer. Because they were rubbish. But not now. The new generation are amazing. What you're looking at me now uh, on is a webcam. It's a Logitech Pro C20, I think was the number. Was about £100. Price crashed. I bought this for £39.99. So that's what you're looking at. It does have a stereo input speaker system. Don't like it. Sounds very tinny. Sounds like you're in a coal mine somewhere. That's why I'm using this. I'll come back to this in a minute. Um, so the other thing I've got over to the right here is a window. Just behind the monitor here to the rear is a lighting unit. And behind me here is my background. Now, I'm going to just zoom out and show you that because that is a simple photographer's background that I've pinned to the wall. If I come in like this, you don't see the edge of it, and it gives you a nice clipped sort of surround. Now, just a few things. First of all, uh, I'm big into photography, and one of the things that I would say is that when you're using a webcam and its, um, and its software, don't set the software on autofocus. It... Or it always overexposes the color saturation is just off usually it uses too much gain etc etc play around with it and get the best that you can the autofocus is fine i've got this on autofocus but the rest of the of the of the bits play around with them until you get the very best that you can now then let's just a couple of other things about the the videoing itself you'll notice that i am not in the center of the picture I'm not here, okay? I'm off to the cent I'm off to one side. That's called the rule of thirds. Look it up on YouTube. There's loads of things why that's the case. But anyone that's into photography, film, film and uh, videography, um, TV work, they always know. You look at somebody who's being interviewed on CNN, uh, the BBC, they're always off to one side. Nobody knows why it happens. The brain prefers you to one side, not in the middle. Don't know why. Um, the old master pains, it's been going on for three or four hundred years. People have known about it a long time. Look it up on YouTube, they'll tell you why that is the case. So, um, I'm going to show you around my office. It's about 10 feet by 10 feet. It's very small. Um, and I'm going to show you the setup. And then I'll talk through the prices of the setup that I've got. So I've all, oops, I've already showed you this background, photographer's background, okay? The Shure SM7B looks like this. I have another microphone, actually, <laughs> uh, where am I? I've got loads of microphones around here. They're all over the place, you know? Uh, anyway, so I also have this microphone, which is the Heil PR40. There's the window to my right, letting in some light. And there's my lighting unit at the back. The other thing I want to show you is this. This is my external sound card or mixer. It's the Yamaha MG10XU. Um, 
but I'll come back to that in a little while. Let me put you back up here. Right, now then, the costing of these. The video camera that you're looking at was about £40. This is the expensive bit. This was about £340. I, I used the Heil for a long time. The Heil is about £280. Brilliant bit of kit. Um, and I did love it. I now use it for my interviewee. This, I came across this, and it's a beautiful bit. And I've recently found out that this was actually uh, Michael Jackson's favourite microphone. So it's it's very well known, certainly in, in broadcasting. And it this and the Heil both have to go through that mixing unit that I've just shown you. Now, the mixing unit was about £180. You can get a much smaller one than that. They start of about £39, £49, something like that. Um, and that's it. So a camera, microphone, external, and you can get USB microphones, but I prefer these. Um, an external mixing desk and a lighting unit. Now, the lighting unit came as a package of two. Stand, lighting box, bulbs, everything in, 56 quid for two. So I've got one on at the moment, so that's, for what you're seeing now, is £25 worth of lighting. So that's not bad. Um, and I kind of hope that... I, oh plus the background, they're quite dear actually, but you can hang anything behind you. If you can tie dye something and you get a very similar effect to what's behind me. Now you could, I could improve this by putting a bright light behind me, facing me, and that would give me a highlight, what's known um, as a highlight around, it's like a, a, a line of glow around the back of my head, a hairline, and that would separate me from the background. But that's much more important really in photography than it is in videos like this one but hand on my heart if there was one thing i could ask people to do it would be to improve the sound of your videos now then you could start off with a cheap cheap um microphone like i did like so many did but i would say to you forget that save up buy the best that you can have a look online You'll see loads of people waxing and waning about all kinds of different uh, types of microphones. The Heil and the Shure SM7B for me are the two best for the kind of work that I do. Uh, and I'm hoping that you can hear the sound quality that comes from them. Uh, what else was I going to say about... Oh, yes. I like it. I, I bought a £30 mic, then I upgraded to a £90, then £110, then £180, then £200 and something rather than do that and end up wasting a lot of money on microphones save up and get the very best that you can okay so i'm hoping that you can see that this video um, i'm in a 10 by 10 room i have very little equipment really when i am using my sound for my i i do a radio show i also podcast um the other bit of software that i use is adobe audition and that's a bit expensive but you can use audacity which is a free piece of software so that's pretty much it so i hope that this inspires you to try and improve the quality of your video setup if you want to leave a message please do below i'd be most grateful if you have any questions about any of the gear that i use i've got about three dozen microphones these are the two that i use a lot so i may have a microphone that you want answering uh, or a question answering about just pop uh, pop a question down below and i will do my best to answer any questions that i can so until next time take care bye for now